Shocks, struts, and springs operate in conjunction with each other. The condition of one corner of the suspension affects all the corners of the vehicle when driving straight or cornering. At higher speeds and cornering forces, the inability to control the movement of the suspension and body in one corner can change the contact patch, the road, or all the corners. What does that mean for drivers? Well, during a panic situation, an unbalanced suspension with worn ride control can alter the contact patch to the point where the vehicle oversteers, understeers, or can't stop. With that in mind, does it really make sense for a customer to replace the front struts and not the rear when they're getting new tires? Well, it all depends on the road conditions traveled by the vehicle. By the time a vehicle is ready for its second or third set of tires, it's time to replace the worn ride control with new shocks and struts. But does it make sense to replace a damaged or leaking shock or strut that needs immediate attention while neglecting the other units that have more than 80,000 miles on them and are due for replacement? If the customer buys only two units, it might solve their complaint, but ultimately it could compromise the overall performance of the vehicle. If you've ever seen the mechanics in a pit stop of a professional car race, you might have noticed that they're adjusting the setting of the shocks. They're trying to achieve two goals. First, they're trying to maximize traction, and second, they're trying to balance out the handling so it doesn't push or have a rear that's loose. In this context, Loose means that the rear wants to break loose and cause the vehicle to fishtail. A push means that the rear wheels have more grip than the front, causing the vehicle to go in a straight line, even if the wheels are turned. OEM engineers do the same thing when designing the shocks and struts of a new vehicle platform. Like the racing mechanics, they're adjusting compression and rebound. While comfort is one consideration, finding the correct spring and dampener settings is critical to pass new and more stringent government standards for handling, rollover, and collision avoidance. When the vehicle is on the road for more than 50,000 miles, it's not a race mechanic or engineer making the adjustments. It's potholes and bumps dialing back the dampening forces, wearing out the ride control components. This changes the handling characteristics of a vehicle with every road variation. When only replacing two shocks or struts, we're changing this carefully engineered balance even further. The four corner approach to ride control applies to mixing brands as well. For example, a customer might put a complete strut assembly from brand A on the front of the vehicle and shocks from brand B on the rear. Here's the problem with that. Various brands are known for having distinct ride characteristics. Some brands of shocks and struts might have a stiffer ride while others might have a softer ride. If your customer is putting two different brands of shocks or struts on a vehicle, they're less likely to get a consistent ride. When you're selling ride control products, you can feel good about recommending complete strut assemblies and shocks from FCS Auto for all four corners of the vehicle. Each unit is compression and durability tested to ensure that the product meets OE specifications. All FCS components and valving are specifically designed and calibrated to match the form, fit, and function for each vehicle application and to provide a consistent OE ride and feel. Thanks for watching.